Hello and welcome to some Be Open at New Hampshire. I'm just going to be straight up honest with you. I am not at all comfortable yet. I don't feel very stable. I just, I have not been able to figure this quite out yet, and it's concerning me. Um, I already made a bad mistake in the C Open race uh, that I did earlier this week, and there I was actually kind of feeling pretty good, and I just, I made a mistake because of getting unsettled on a bump. And here, I'm not really even feeling all that good. So I'm pretty concerned. So I'm just gonna have to underdrive it or something during the race, cause I'm pretty concerned. But we're gonna qualify here. We have the six, which is pretty cool. Got some good participation here today. I just I uh. I don't feel very comfortable. One more lap. It's just not clicking with me yet. Probably just need a little more practice. I guess that's the gist of it, but... I don't know, man. I really don't. Uh, at least I feel like I got an okay lap in there. Well, for what I, my standards are. Apparently the last time we were here I was better because I have not been able to even get much close to uh, my all-time best. Um, second lap was two tenths slower, so there's that inconsistency I was talking about. Um, I'm doing shifting. It seems to work okay for me, but is that the way to do it? Probably not. I really, like I said, don't know. I'm not comfortable at all. Um, We'll do a, another lap here, and then do a pit entry. I think I've got that down, at least. I've been fiddling with the brake bias. Um, I had to adjust the tape because it was running hot. It was doing that for me in the uh, truck race, too. Um, maybe because it's not meant to be shifting. The setup isn't, so I had to lower it a bit. And you would think, like, well, if it's not meant to be shifting, stop shifting. But I tried doing that, and I feel much slower. Like, there it is. I just I can't get the car to turn. I'll do one more lap since... <laughs> since I wanted to try that out again. But as you could see, I, just, I was not getting the car turned. So, third gear it is. I don't know, man. I'm having a tough time. Hopefully we'll have a clean race, and hopefully I'll be able to keep it clean. But uh, we'll do a pit entry here. Watch Not so hard. Pits. Pretty straightforward. Not sure if this is known as a difficult one, but it seems pretty easy to me. Um, pretty easy marks to find where to turn in, and I haven't really had any issues. Got that pretty well down. I don't know, maybe that wasn't fast, maybe that's my problem, but we'll park it. I guess that was an okay time. I mean, not close to the leader there, but I'm yeah, in here. I'll say good luck to him. Good luck in this race. And uh, Mike's always, I'm always enjoying racing with him. So give him a nice good luck message. Uh, we're falling down a little bit right now. Not sure the the car's gonna adjust over time. According to this, burning the tires off pretty good, and it looks like the right front is gonna be more of a problem. This is what I've ended up with. Uh, this is an OSR setup. I ended up doing 66 brake bias, which is a little higher than it had um, initially. Um, I'll lower it a little bit because I feel like I got slower when I increased it so we'll just uh, do a quick adjustment there um 12 to 1 steering ratio i never like to go lower than that unless i'm on a short track but i do like uh being able to get the counter steer i need because it will get really loose here at new hampshire very flat track and then i settled on 68 for the tape like i said it was running hot at the default of like it was like 70 something so 
Uh, we'll see what we can do. That's the end of the session. B6. Got a couple self spins or wall hits <laughs> from guys qualifying. Just pushing it hard, I imagine. And uh, did I? Okay, I unmuted it. So we're actually starting right next to Mike. I see him a lot in like, Arca in 87s, I think. Not sure if I see him too often in B car, but. He might be one of the. He may or may not be one of the guys that like keeps all the chat off during races. Sure. Either way, let's not we'll crash him or anybody else for that matter. I'm curious how the fuel will look. It looks like we yeah, will gotcha. need to get fuel if I had to guess. Gotcha. Session last lap. Um, the truck race looked like you could probably save from the start and end up making it to the end. I don't think, judging by what it's saying there at 79 laps without moving yet, that that's going to be Thank possible. You. But we'll see. We'll keep an eye on it. Got Crew Chief to help us out, as always. And uh, just like I said, I just... Goal number one here is don't crash. Don't run into anybody and try to keep it clean. Um, maybe I'll get hit by somebody else, but I'm just a little concerned. I like to feel more in control than I am feeling right now, usually. And obviously I can drive it a little softer and not drive over my head, but if I'm going too slow into the corners and stuff, I'm going to get hit from behind. So, uh, I mean, maybe we're not too bad. We did qualify ahead of a number of people and over a second faster than the guy that qualified 13th. So. Who knows if they were even trying, if they just wanted to be ahead of the guys that didn't qualify. But... I don't know, man. Right, it looks like everybody's joined. Alright, let's get it going. Mic checked. More mic checks happening. It's to our left, actually. Thank you. Follow car number zero. You're welcome, Dustin. The outside lane. Not sure if it's going to be a first, second, etc. gear start. That's definitely looking like second gear. Check for wheel spin. <laughs> Seems like we're good. A little surprised that I was able to qualify up here. I thought I was going to be slower, but maybe I am kind of fast but unstable, which is probably the worst combination. I'm just going to have to make sure I don't drive over my head. That's the big thing. Don't want to be a problem, that's for sure. I noticed, I don't know if the one was just goofing off in practice. He was really fast. He had the fastest practice times in the open practice for this. But he was crashing a lot. I don't know if he just was not taking it too serious or whatever. But I'm going to keep that in mind, too. Okay. And be very gentle on exit. Sorry, I got one point. Maybe I'll make it to the end, and somebody. I hope this isn't a wreck fest. Trucks were a bit of a wreck fest, but when are they not? I'm aware this might be too. New Hampshire's can be pretty. New Hampshire can be pretty messy. No matter who I'm running, where I'm running, it's always me. The guy that gets hit first. Now I it's a say? Point three. There's no way that's calibrated, but maybe we'll save just in case we can make it to the end. If we do, I'm not sure what fuel mileage is actually looking like. So I know you can save pretty, pretty well here. If I'm you, not a Dustin. You understand? You can save a lot of fuel here if you uh, just dr uh, drift into the corners a little bit more, stop shifting to third. <laughs> can save a d decent bit of fuel, so something to keep in mind. Especially if we do get a couple cautions to start the race here. It'd be interesting to see how it shapes up. 
So, won't hurt anything to save fuel, just in case. Gives me something to do during caution anyway. We're two to green already, nice. Pretty quick, I like it. So we're just basically gonna start the race over again, like nothing happened. With maybe 1% less fresh tires. And everybody up here is pretty much in the same spot. And I already won to green. Alrighty. Be behind the one car this time. I think he was on the inside last time. So that'll be a little different. Don't think it's gonna make any difference though. And uh, we'll just enter turn one. Easy. We did last time. Make sure we're not running into anyone. But, uh, hopefully get some green laps this time. Alright, uh, so let's, uh, everybody be patient. I want to get some green flags in. That sounds low. Can you see my nose, Harry? Come on out there, come on. Hey, it ain't, it's not bad, Chris. I mean, it's, you know, you got some little bit cosmetic, but it ain't too bad. Get ready, going green. Got it out there, brother. Yeah, watch the two. Yeah, you'll be all right. I can. You got your RPM, you should be fine. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green, green, green. Car inside. Sky high, Thompson, 35.4. Still there at the bottom. Alright, he's on our inside. Don't need to fight too hard early on. Especially with me being questionable. So, let him in. Focus on being gentle. Get a little bit of a gap behind, so I wanted to take that while I could. New fastest lap from Jenkins, 31.1. The car ahead. Guess we're not too, doing too bad. I felt very slow. But I was probably just overdriving it in practice and stuff. It looks like if you just keep steady, you can kind of keep up pretty well. Do, trying too hard to get everything out of it, I guess, and really race pace is just keeping it steady. I like it. Wow, almost a second behind us already. I think that's because they're fighting back there. That might be why. Fastest lap for Jenkins, 30.5. Car in front lap time is at 30.7. That getting a little sideways. We're falling back a little bit. So maybe that is the, uh, Slowness creeping in on me. Maybe they're just being a little bit more aggressive on throttle on exit. Uh, man, I thought we were gonna have a green running. Pass the paid car. Zero point two gallons. Zero point two gallons, huh? Still probably not calibrated, but that's very interesting. Still not coming into pit. But if we go green to the end, and we can make it, well, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> make sure we're caught up just in case anyone does want to pit. Don't want to take that option away from anyone or frustrate anyone by taking forever to get to the pits and get caught up. But I also don't want to burn my tires off during caution laps either. Just balance that fine line. We're caught up. We good. Eight roads open. Already approaching an eighth of the way through the race. Not exactly how I wanted to spend it, but better than spending it uh, with dents on my car. Or worse. Coming in, huh? You mean to tell me Jenkins they're coming in? to the Pitterino. Not doing it. I don't see a reason. We have not raced much at all, if at all yet. 
I think we can make it on field potentially without coming in. And I don't necessarily want to put myself behind a bunch of people. Found out uh, tires don't exactly allow you to blow past people, even if they're much fresher. So I think track position might be somewhat important here. Especially if, uh, like I said, you want to stay out of all the fisticuffs going on back behind us. Because those cautions aren't coming from nowhere. They are emanating, radiating from the back of the field. And I feel the heat on the back of my neck. But I should be coming to two to green here. Looks like we're in fourth now, so we still, we're still going to be on the outside of Mike. Still going to be on the outside. But we've moved forward a little bit. Hey, not bad. Must not be doing something wrong. Or what? <laughs> Must be doing something right is what I'm trying to say. But I said it a really weird way. Must be doing something right is what I am attempting to get across. I like it. Special is the six. Always so nice to not be the number one. It happens so often. I'm actually racing at a reasonable time today. 9 p.m. I don't know. Is that a reasonable hey, time? Now. It's later than I thought it was, but... It's not 2 a.m. So that's that's a thing. It's when I'm normally racing. 2 a.m. So let's uh, get some green flag laps, why don't we? I actually enjoyed that for a minute. Seems like being steady is all you really need to do, and I feel like I can do that. Drive within myself and just be some, uh, be steady. Make me feel a little bit more confident about how uh, I'm feeling. So let's get all lined up. Outside. One left Got my Draft Master Two down, paint scheme. Fun little lap game. Just recently, uh, I think of like a week or two ago, they have like time trials on that game, so you can do the fastest laps um, within a week span based on the tracks that they're running in real life. And at Nashville Super Speedway, I got the top time of the week, and I got like bonuses and a special car in the game. And that was really cool. Got it posted on the Twitter. That was pretty fun. <laughs> So uh, Nashville Super Speedway was a good track for me, not only on iRacing, but on a little arcade <laughs> app game, too, which was pretty funny. I watched the number three this time, who is now your leader. I can't see him. Did he do that on purpose? Pull down there so people couldn't see him? Pretty clever if he did that on purpose. I couldn't see him at all. 15's drifting up in my lane. Still there, inside. Still inside. Kinda hurt my corner, to be honest with you. Still inside. Clear inside. Wow, 15 is kinda all over the track. I kinda wish he would hold a line. I mean, I guess he's on his own right now. He's not side by side, so he doesn't really have to. He's scaring me, man. P6. That was a 31.6. Wow, these guys are interesting. They almost came up and killed him. I feel like I'm in it now. I'm in the bee's nest. I always say bee's nest. It's a beehive, doofus. Clear. Okay. <laughs> it feels so unstable still. But we got some room now. The 8 has picked up the pace a little bit. I think he was back, uh, back there a little ways. We had gained about a second on him last run. But it could have been because he was side by side or something. See if I can catch back up here. Ah, 
I'm okay though. I don't feel like I even need to catch up like all that bad. Like I feel like I can just be steady. Like we've got room behind us. We're not fighting anyone right now. Like even if they pull away a little bit, maybe we can just be steady and be nice to the car and maybe it'll do good things for us. Don't always have to be fighting for the win every lap. I should know. I should know that. I should know not to have to worry about that. So. Let's just be steady. I like it. Driving within myself. Good philosophy. I get that from Nick. He said that originally, and I liked the way that sounded. Drive within your limits. It's how he put it, I believe. I like it. It's a good philosophy. If you're being steady, it's pretty good, too. You always have to be driving over, over your head and being crazy. Never. Oh. Oh. Hold the brakes. Wow. Okay, so that's two races in a row the leaders have taken each other out at some point uh, in New Hampshire. Huh. We're going to hear about that on the mic at some point, if I haven't muted them. Surely they're not going to stay silent about that incident, right? You're now in third. He's got something to say, I imagine. No? Are we being polite? Much politer than I am. I'm always a big jerk on Mike. Two cars flying, so we'll let him by when he gets here. He's got the new tires too. Car in God. Still there. Clear. Just filing behind him. Take a slow entry. Good run off, hopefully. Not least too much time. Easy, bro. No one said anything about the accident. I'm getting my money's worth out of this thing. That's Just pretending it didn't happen. Yes. Well, I hear about it. Those are some spots I was never going to get, I don't think. So that's pretty cool. This is better though. Jeez. I was kind of coming coming in a little bit. Feels like it's got more grip. The five's coming too though. Gotta watch out for that. A little bit loose there. And gentle. Oh no, not the oil temp. You gotta be joshing me. I turned that stuff down. I told you it was a problem. I turned it down and it's still a problem. We'll let this fly by if he's interested. I just hope he's smart about it. Okay, we'll let him by here and take this corner and forth to get temperature within reasonable limits again. Okay, just drift in front of me. I was letting you go. By the way. We're gonna try fourth gear for a little bit, so that way don't explode. Exploding does not lead to a good finish, typically. We will turn this down to like 62. Hopefully that will allow us to live a long and prosperous life. Doesn't seem like we're much slower either. Not like the trucks. I felt like I was much slower in the trucks. Whenever I didn't shift. But it seems much closer here. Might be on the right front more though. Which is too bad. but I can live with it. Maybe if I learn fourth gear a little bit more, maybe it'll actually be faster. The gap in front is now 0.8. It still feels like it's on the right rear, so maybe I should have been in fourth gear the whole time. Although it does seem like I'm losing time. 
we'll compare again. Next time, uh, next lap, we're going to put it back into third gear and see how it compares. Because we have session last lap up. It's very useful for that. If you're going to try different things to see how it compares. Very useful information. The kind of stuff that your crew chief would normally give you, but I recently okay, it's not to have. Okay. So you have to bring that information to yourself. They're fighting up there for the lead, by the way. That's pretty crazy. They're all really close in the top three. So, try third gear again. Now their engines cooled down a bit. I overdrove that, though. Might not be a good sample. Let's try not to overdrive it and see how it works. more time. Maybe I'm just missing my marks, but it's almost looking like fourth gear is better. Three's catching us pretty good. All useful information, though, as we get further into this race. Okay, fourth gear again. Oh, wow! Look at that! Fourth gear is better. Unless it's just me messing up the corners or something. That's much better. Very interesting. Interdasting. Howdy doody. Alright, well, it might be a little harder on the right front, but Come on, low, man. when the times are that different, you gotta run with it. We're improving still. And if I'm more aggressive with the throttle and exit, you can still be on the right here, so. Alright, look at me, shifting what I don't need to again. First time that's happened. Trucks definitely like shifting. Now the specific setup in Xfinity, not so much. It's looking like fourth gear is the way. Just gonna make sure you slow it down enough to get it turning without needing to use the uh, lower gear to get it turning. See, that's how I missed my mark though. The gap behind is now 0.8. I'm very happy with how this is going, though. I know we're not uh, really competing up front, but got to remember we are A, on a free setup, and B, the sixth ranked car, and C, we're not feeling very comfortable to begin with. So given all those factors, I'm very happy with how this is going so far. I'm giving that to you if you're on fresh tires. By the way, we've been green for a while. It's fuel saying. Got plenty of fuel. I like it. I like hearing that. Wouldn't it be fantastic if this went to the end? I would love that. Love a long green run. Not sure if we're going to be good on a long green run. Not sure how we're going to compare tire wear wise. I don't feel like I'm overdriving it or anything, except for this time in this corner. But, I could be wrong. Off through the corner that time. Woo! The straightaway wigglies that the Xfinity car likes to give. It's really hard to describe unless you've been in this car before. But sometimes when you're in straightaway, it likes to wander. It likes to pull left and right randomly like a boat or something. 
Not sure why it is. I guess le uh, less downforce maybe is why it likes to do that. But think I've ever. I don't think any other car on the service has quite felt that way to me. Maybe some setups, like in the trucks and stuff, like certain setups can be feel that kind of way. Depending on what track you're at, what setup you're using. But it's almost it's pretty much every week in the Xfinity car. It's always got the wigglies. We still remain in the top five for now. I don't like using the kind of uh, what you call it, the what you call it, the uh, 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 Reese. Is that what you call it? Between the lanes. Go ahead, Adam. I like using that to get it turned a little bit. There's another word for it. I'm just being dumb right now. Can't remember. <laughs> Seems like if you kind of use that a little okay, bit, to help it getting turned, it's kind of useful. I'm so inconsistent though. There's no reason I should be like a tenth up from last lap. That should never be the case. That's telling me that I am just inconsistent. That's good consistency. Keep it up. <laughs> good timing, crew chief. Thank you, but I disagree. Good consistency. That was funny. The gap behind is now 1.0. Can I trust you, crew chief? Is it really 1.0? I don't know. I feel like you're giving me opposite day information. It might be opposite day today. You did not debrief me on that information if it is in fact opposite day. But if it's opposite day, then I have felt completely in control of this car since the very start. I definitely expected to qualify where I did. I am going to win this race. And I hate New Hampshire. That is to say, I like New Hampshire. It's actually a very nice track. Um, I, I'm not always great at it, and sometimes I make dumb mistakes, but I really actually enjoy it. It seems pretty divisive. It seems like a lot of people don't like it. But I do like having to fight looseness on exit quite a bit. I enjoy that on any track. Well, except for maybe short tracks. Short tracks just scare the pants off me, but... Uh, here, I like it pretty well. Lap traffic, by the way. Hopefully he makes it easy on us. Oh, he's breaking early. Oh, he's okay. Did not see that coming. Outside, clear. <laughs> well, we figured it out. Yeah, look at the map. Oh, oh, oh! It didn't stop turning. Decided not to stop turning at any point. Uh, we got Matt <laughs> DiBenedetto in front of us, apparently. That's when he was with, uh, who's a what's it, okay, smaller team, and he almost won that, uh, Bristol race. But, uh, yeah, I like New Hampshire on days that, uh, are not opposite day. Even if I'm bad at it. Got kind of tight. I think we're catching the one car. Car inside, clear inside. Thanks for letting me buy a man, but maybe just hold the line next time. I'll figure it out. <sighs> Try to be polite about that. Uh, if you're gonna let someone buy, just hold your line. Then you get those situations where I just lost a bunch of time. Get in here if you need. 
They say you could have right, trying to give you some room, Mark. Oh, he's talking to someone else. Yeah, don't be careful. Try not to be rude about it, but kind of just get across that uh, it would be more helpful in the future to uh, just kind of stay in a line. If that was even what he was trying to do, maybe he just got loose off the corner. <laughs> that could be it too. And I'm off base, but that stinks. It felt like I was catching the one for a while there, and now we have to uh, get moving again. Mike's in the pits? Did something happen to him? Was he one of the guys... I might not have noticed until now. He might have, uh, been one of the guys that crashed earlier. <laughs> That's a bummer. I didn't even notice. I'm focused on what I was doing. I have no idea what happened to him. But he might have been with one of those guys that were in front that got into the problem. In fact, I think he must have been. Because there weren't very many people in front of me when it happened. Man, that stinks. Sorry to see that, Mike. get consistency back. I feel like I've lost a bit of my consistency ever since having to navigate the uh, lap traffic there. Kind of got me out of my rhythm. Speaking of, the one's having some trouble with lap traffic, looks like. It's like you had to get them around in a weird way there, and I am drifting out of the corner. Yeah, Mike's out. It stinks. Or, you know, like the old broadcast would say, off. You have off and out. He's off at the moment. Car cargo is high. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside. <laughs> Get by him, not too bad. We have a pitter. Someone pit. Get back in fourth position. <laughs> That's not gonna make it? Let me check my fuel again once I get on the straightaway. Maybe they think they'll be fast? You got loads of fuel. Got loads of fuel. You hear that? Got loads of fuel. So unless they think they're gonna be mon <laughs> like monstrously faster, I'm not pitting. Are you kidding me? You joshing me right now? I'm not pitting. Maybe that saving fuel to start really helped out. Maybe being in fourth gear is really helping out. This is an interesting development. We're in fourth now. I can't imagine anyone else is going to pit. That had to be just that guy, right? Very interesting. You always get a yellow and ruin that concept, but sure if we don't. I've been loving this green flag racing. Been adoring the green flag racing. Over that. I'm going to use third gear just for this corner, just to get off the corner a little better. That didn't even help. I think fourth gear is just so much better. Huh. That's probably uh, part of the explanation of why I felt so bad in practice and other times. I just don't want to use third gear. So that's my tip, I guess. Don't feel the need to shift here this week. At least with this setup. Now remember, each setup's gonna be different. This is OSR setup for this week. And uh, that's the uh, that's what I found out. If you're gonna give this a try and use OSR, I don't need to shift. A little hot. Kept it on the line though. My caramba. Off the corner. Eat my shorts, man. This oversteer. So we are taking the laps down, and we are catching the one for sure this time. We're catching them pretty quick, too. Maybe he's saving fuel. 
I'm not sure what the deal is, if his tires are bad, if he's saving fuel or what, we are catching. And again, we do not need to save fuel. Not even a little. So I'm feeling very good, especially if this goes green. Okay. Actually, as soon as... Uh, is this a pitting in? I hope I'm not missing something. Because if he did say pitting in and he's pitting in here, why would you pit in? I can make it to the end. And I haven't pit, like, ever in this race. Didn't say pitting in. I could have sworn that wasn't on purpose. <laughs> it just got loose, came up. Sometimes I just I hit this line real well, okay, rolling the bottom there, or you know the second lane, bottom at New Hampshire, and I roll the middle really good. It really helps me get through the corner. Feeling great though. I'm very happy with this setup. I feel I felt really unstable at the start. Of course, part of that was me shifting for no reason. But I feel like it came in very well. So, well done, OSR. Very happy with the setup here. Running fourth as a free setup guy. As the number six. And some fast guys who, you know, a couple guys had some issues, of course. But we're about to pass the one here in a minute, I think. That's not insignificant. Yeah, roll that lane. Mm. A little nervous about where the 20 is, so... We're gonna show our nose here and hopefully he... ...concedes. Outside. Keep low. Still there. I'm gonna back off for us for no reason. Cause why would you? Still there, hold your line. In fact, drive in harder. Oh, you're the lap guy. Some gears. Oh well. <laughs> At least he wasn't blocking our lane. Thank you, Adam. Feels good though, I still think we're gonna be able to catch this one. I really hope it stays green at this point. Fantastic race so far. Thank you, Eric. Well, the one's picked up the pace a little bit. I missed the corner there. Maybe that's why we're gaining. It's just occasionally misses the corner like that, and that loses him a lot of time. Lost about a tenth there doing that. Oh, and there he goes again. Wow, that right front must be real bad shape or something. I guess we did a good job saving tires. Probably driving within myself and not burning the tires off. Go the room. <laughs> Down a little bit lower there, it kind of worked. That's good consistency. Keep it up. It's gonna be hard to pass though. You know he's gonna fight for it, and he'll be justified in doing so. Fighting for third here. It's uh, not a crazy amount of laps left, and I'm not absurdly faster than him or something. It's about a tenth every lap or so and sometimes he hits the cone a little better than I, I do, do. You've just done a so I don't expect him to concede it or anything It'd be cool yeah, if he did but don't expect it and I don't think I should expect it on his bumper now though maybe he'll roll in the center real well again Area. 
right side. Keep low. Still there. Hold your line. Clear out. Sure, we don't drive up into him. Oh, this is gonna be hard to pass, isn't it? I'm only inside here, though. He's gonna fight us like I expected. Hold it down a little bit more on the, on the exit. Might have overdone it there, though. Oh, he's conceding. At least it looked like he did. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside, clear. We gotta go now, though. He's not gonna be happy if we all of a sudden lose pace sitting in front of him. You got fresh tires out? Yeah. yeah. Back in third. Keep hustling. Third place. Love it. Alright, Colton. Your water temperature looks quite high. Thank you, Juan. I appreciate that. I want to make sure I could drive away first before I held you up or anything. <laughs> You've just done a 32.0. Thank you, Alan. Making sure that I can actually get away after he uh, makes it nice, easy for us. Outside. Outside. Clear. said that awkwardly, but I think I think you must have gotten the point. I hope. The point I was trying to make. The captain Schmidt behind is now 0.8. Your engine temperatures are now back to normal. It's like that lap car that was just next to us might have given troubles to the one there. Gave us sorry in the chat. So we have not, I don't believe been catching. No, no. Internet, stop that right now. I do not want to see that again. Of course, I look at the internet and keep my eyes and get my eyes off the track. And even when the internet just barely bothers me, causes trouble. It's funny how that works. I will quit iRacing forever if the internet gives out right now. <laughs> that's not true, but that's how I will want. To, that's what I'll want to do if I get disconnected from this race. That would ruin my whole week because this has been a fantastic race. I'm so happy with how this is going right now. That last lap was a if I get disconnected here again, you guys don't see them, but I get disconnected way too often. P3. I just don't upload those races because what an anticlimactic finish. But if that happens again here, I am going to be so sad. I'll be devastated, man. But. Car's getting kind of tight now. It's a car rejoining in front. You've got loads of fuel. Just checking fuel. So we have other guys that need to pit, apparently. I felt that they needed to. Look what the tires are at. Maybe it's tires guys are pitting for. Maybe some guys are really harder in the tires. No idea. I'll have to check them after we're done. Though. Car outside. Outside is clear. Thank you, appreciate it. You. <sighs> oh, we got a fast guy coming. I'll stop. Is he not intending to pass? I can tell. The actor Schmidt behind is now. 1.7 seconds. Car inside. Clear inside. He's intending to pass. Okay. I'll leave the bottom open here. Never mind, I guess. <laughs> okay, Colton. That's good consistency. Keep it up.
Well, he sticks his nose in previous corner, so I assumed he wanted to go, and then he doesn't go. So, mixed signals here in 21, but that's fine. He's not said a word, so I don't know his intentions. Oh, man. Hands are hurting a little bit, not too bad. But uh, I've definitely been fighting loose conditions the whole race. You know that feeling after you're done with the race. Or at least I do. I usually feel it. You've just done a 32.1. I wonder if, now that the car is tighter, if their gear would be good, but I don't see any reason to even experiment it with it now, because we've only got five laps to go once we get to the line again. The gap to Schmidt behind is now 1.9. <clears throat> don't do that. Clear. You got 21 does not intend to pass, it looks like, because if you wanted to, that would have been the prime time to do it. Down to the wall, thankfully not a 2x, and I don't think it even damaged the car, it was just a light tap. But now I'll actually get some TV time on the incidents, maybe. That's all that was for. Totally intentional. The car is going away, though. <laughs> with only a couple laps to go. I guess if it's gonna happen, that's when you want it to happen. When the race is just about over. Outside. Keep low. Still there, hold your eyes. Really wish the lap car would back off instead of fighting me on the outside. Go low. Outside. Actually, clear. There you go. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, bud. Oh my gosh, I just remembered cautions can happen. Oh my gosh, the 12 is reminding me cautions can happen. Don't happen, please, for the love of God. Why is this guy making me nervous? Why is he acting like he's going to go around the outside? You fresh tires, of course, faster. Why are you even near me? Two more, let's go. Schmidt behind is now 1.5 seconds. Boy, howdy, that right front is hurting. Two laps left. Come on, you're looking good for a podium. Ooh, get to that white flag, why don't we? Outside. Keep low. Last lap. Stick it. I'll drive up into the guy. I guess these guys are kind of fighting for position here, so I guess I kind of understand them not letting me buy. But I feel like fighting side by side with me is just going to make them even slower, right? Like, then just letting me buy. I could be wrong. No way, John. Hi, so because my computer has about two kilobytes of storage space for some reason, it decided to stop recording at the very worst moment. So thankfully there's not much else to see. Um, oops. Last lap, just going around the corner, and uh, <laughs> like I said, pretty much the end of it. So just get around the final corner, and I said uh, a good win and a good race to them. Said I loved the uh, long green flag run, which is true, and... Uh, That'll do it. Um, even the incidents. Uh, I guess we can go through the incidents. We'll do that real quick. Um, since that's not even going to be any different from normal. Um, but obviously not much else to see there. Um, just miss out on the mic communications, which were nothing you've never heard before. <laughs> I'm just saying, good race. So I'm going to do this quick. So I obviously made room so I can do this recording. And uh, we'll look at the incidents real quick. Uh, even though I already did it once, uh, but not much to see. So, uh, oh, you know what? The incidents broke. So we're not even going to be able to see the incidents, but we will see what causes the cautions. That's what we'll do. So we uh, had we got a first caution lap one, and if I remember correctly, it was from Chrome here. 
living up to that Nick stereotype that he talks about from cars. But I uh, just get to loose out of two. And the 12 was there to receive him. So that was that stunk. And then uh, next caution and final caution, thankfully. Fantastic race. Um, loved the finish I got. Um, there in third. So happy with that. I gotta remember to say that again because it's gone. But uh, very, very happy with how that turned out. And uh, we'll, we're about to find out what happened to Mike here. Um, he uh, had a very unfortunate incident. And just a couple laps. I believe it was this lap. So you'll see the three. Nope, not this lap. Darn incidents being broken. Is this it? Yes, it is. So you'll see that again. Turn two bites someone. Three tries to catch it, starts fishtailing. Mike thinks he can get around the inside and unfortunately cannot. And just horrible impact onto the tires. Gets stuck there. No caution because he's below the apron. So just completely took him out. Ruined his race. Horrible luck. I was, I'm was, i so sorry to see it for Mike. And uh, the three stays straight so there's no caution. And uh, he ends up coming back to fifth. But never quite gets back to where he was. So, uh, And from there it goes green. Uh, and it was green through that incident as well. And really pretty much nothing to see at all. So uh, the incidents were quite boring anyway after that. And uh, sorry that the recording failed. I try to keep up with my video files and deleting them so that way they don't pile up. But unfortunately, <laughs> the, ha the end of the last lap, of course, was lost. Um, go figure. You couldn't last half a lap. But like I said, didn't miss anything. Got the incidents done anyway. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Very, very, very happy with the run. Got the third place there. And uh, oh, by the way, the two and the five. Those are the guys who pit, if you didn't notice, um, after the second caution. So their strategy really worked out. I ended up the uh, best finisher of the guys who didn't pit. So that makes me wonder a little bit, but I think both those guys were really fast anyway. Definitely the two was going to win no matter what with a 10 second lead there. But uh, makes me wonder, you know, but can't be uh, upset with that finish at all. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.